And I was with my wife in a bar, and it was raining. And the traffic outside was moving very slowly. And one car in that traffic was Berkowitz. And he had a dog with him, and he had a gun to shoot me. The rain stopped him because the, the dog couldn't be in the rain, he thought. And he drove on and went home. He wrote a letter to me, and then they printed it in the paper. They said, why would he write to you? I said, what? Who else would he? What, are you kidding? What, are you nuts? You don't write to Breslin? Who do you write to? Get out. Never, he wouldn't take any crap. Ah, I'm goodbye. Sorry. Goodbye, Sheriff. He's, got, he's, he's from German television. Just hold on, hold on. Jeremy. Okay. I'm, uh, you ain't German. Who are you? Please tell I'm us. I'm nobody. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> nobody. Come on. New York City wouldn't be New York City without Jimmy Breslin. Jimmy Breslin created a certain persona and a voice that uh, I identify so strongly with New York City that I can't separate the two. And of course, the way that he did that was through the writing of his column. Oh, that was the place. Newspapers was a, a world unto its own as you picked it up. Just keep moving and talk to people. You can't stop. Don't just sit in an office and write from there. It doesn't work. He did the legwork, but he also gave voice to the people that lived in the city of New York in a way that no one else has done. The guy had a strong feeling for the city and a strong sense of right and wrong. Tell the truth, and if it uh, bothers people, that's too bad. If it bothers uh, people on top, that's better. There's nothing better than that.